everyone, it's Stephanie here and welcome back. In today's video, we are going to be creating a card using the new March card kit called Bundle of Balloons. And this card kit features some really awesome dies. There is a balloon alphabet set as well as a balloon number set. And you get all of the letters of the alphabet as well as all of the numbers one through nine with some open balloons as well and the balloon string. So you're going to be able to create a ton of different sentiments with all of these fun balloon dies. Now, in addition to the dies that come in the card kit, I'm also going to use the Yay For You stamp set, which does not come in the card kit, but I wanted to use a secondary sentiment with that. So this month's kit includes 20 different sheets of cardstock, so you're going to get a beautiful rainbow of different colors that you can use with the balloon dies, but you also get five sheets of the smooth white included in there. So I decided to use that cardstock and use some distress inks to create some colorful balloons and then die cut from these areas of color that I'm adding. And in addition to inking up the white cardstock, it's also a great cardstock to use for the card bases and also to back your balloon. So if you die cut some of the letter balloons, the white cardstock can be die cut from the solid balloons and kind of layered behind those letter balloons. So for this card here, like I mentioned, we're going to do some inking and I want to create a rainbow card. I love rainbow anything on a card design. So I thought it would be fun to do a bunch of areas of ink with different rainbow colors and then we're going to die cut the balloons that we want to use in our design from these various sections of ink. So I'm just making sure to make them large enough to fit the balloon shape. And I'm kind of going dark at the bottom and going a little bit lighter towards the top to kind of give them a really soft ombre look. So I went ahead and die cut all of my balloons and you can see I first have the rainbow selection of my balloons and I've die cut the word woohoo which is one of my favorite sentiments. I love that you can customize and create pretty much any sentiment you want with these dies. I've also cut out solid white balloons, so these are going to go in behind my letter balloons, and what these are gonna do is actually just allow me to do some die cut inlay. So once I had die cut all of my letter balloons from the rainbow colors, I then went ahead and die cut it from some silver sparkle cardstock as well. And this is just going to allow me to have the colorful outside of the balloon with the silver sparkle letter. Now the great thing about this technique is that we're going to end up with a full set of balloons that we can use on another card, since we're not using the outside of the silver sparkle or the colorful letters. Those can be combined together on a separate card, so I'm going to keep all of those pieces and just set them aside. So I found the easiest way to adhere all of these together was to just add some liquid glue to the white balloons completely over the whole surface and then to add the colorful balloon on top and then to go ahead and add the silver sparkle letter and then any interior pieces if I had some open letters. And using the liquid glue just helps me be able to move things around a little bit. It gives me a little bit of wiggle room before I have to commit to exactly where I want it to adhere. So it lets me line up the balloons perfectly. Now once I have all of the inlay done, I am going to stamp that secondary sentiment that I mentioned. So I'm using the Yay For You stamp set, and I'm stamping this It's Your Birthday sentiment onto a strip of black cardstock, and then I'm going to heat emboss it with white embossing powder. So I added that embossing powder onto the sentiment that I had stamped with Versamark ink, and then I just heat set that off camera. So now that I have all of the pieces die cut and ready to go, it's time to figure out how I want to design my card. So I have a white cardstock panel here that I've die cut from the A2 stitch rectangle stack set two dies. This is the second smallest. And I'm just figuring out how I want to position those balloons. And then I can add the secondary sentiment once I have everything adhered. So now that I have all of the balloons laid out, I'm just indicating the bottom of each balloon with my pencil so that I know where each of those balloons is going to line up on the card. And my plan is to add some silver string to each of these balloons and I want it to go completely straight down the card. So what I'm doing is I'm just using a pencil in my T-square ruler and I'm starting at the little dot that I added where the balloon will be positioned. And I'm just drawing a really faint line from that dot to the bottom of the cardstock panel. And this is just going to allow me to know exactly where I need to position the string that we're going to add to the card. Now there is two ways that you can do this. You can either take your string and just adhere it above the little dot with some adhesive. Or you can do what I'm doing here, and that's just adding a little tiny hole at the very top of each of those lines. I just have a foam mat underneath of my cardstock panel there, so I was easily able to add those little holes. And what I'm going to do is just feed my string through each of those holes and adhere it to the back of the panel. This is just going to keep everything nice and flat under the balloons, and it's going to really ensure that this string is nice and adhered to the panel, so I won't have to worry about it pulling out from under the balloons. Now adding that string through that little tiny hole can be kind of difficult, so I like to use floss threaders. These are actually meant to be used with dental floss, and they're just little plastic things that you can kind of put the string through and then feed it through the hole and pull the string through. 
It's a really great way to be able to put that string through the hole and it's really quick and easy. And they are very, very inexpensive. So you can pick up a pack of I think like 10 of them and I've used the same one over and over so I've had this pack forever. So it's just a great little tool to have on hand to do any type of threading. Now I want to make sure that these balloon strings stay completely straight and kind of stay flat to the card. So what I'm doing is I have some matte multi-medium on a little piece of post-it tape there to my right and I'm just putting that onto my fingers and I'm running it down the balloon string. And what that's doing is it's fully coating that string with the matte multi-medium and it's allowing me to fully pull that nice and straight and it's kind of making it adhere to the card once I'm finished adding it on. And then once I pull the string straight down that line that we've drawn with our pencil, I just flip the panel over and adhere it to the back at the bottom as well. And this matte multimedium will dry completely clear so you're not going to even notice that we have any of this on the string when the card is finished. So now you can see I have all of my balloon strings in place. They're completely straight up and down and I have them nicely secured through that hole at the top as well as at the bottom on the back of the panel with some score tape. So now I can start to adhere all of the balloons to the strings. So I just have all of the balloons above the panel kind of in the same position that I had them on the card. And I'm just adhering these, some of them flat to the card, and then any of the ones that are kind of overlapping, I'm using some dimensional adhesive to give them a little bit of dimension. Now these are thin squares, so they don't have a ton of dimension. I just wanted a tiny bit of lift on some of these balloons just to kind of give it a nice effect. I trimmed down the secondary sentiment that we had stamped onto the black cardstock strip, and I gave it a slanted edge. And then I just added that over top of the balloon strings and trimmed it down to fit onto the panel. Now to finish off the balloons, I want to have some bows on some of them and just some tied string on the others. So what I'm doing is I'm just tying little tiny bows with that same string that we used to do the balloon strings. And then I'm just adding it to some of the balloons. So three of them are going to have an actual bow and three of them are going to just be tied on. So to tie them on is really easy. I just kind of feed the thread underneath of the little balloon bottom and then I just tie it directly onto the card and trim off the little extra pieces of the string. And then for the bows, like I mentioned, I just adhere those directly on and use an acrylic block to kind of hold them in place until the adhesive dries. Now once I have that done, we have finished the card design and we just need to add it to our card base. So I'm just adding this to a blue raspberry card base that is top folding and it measures four and a quarter by five and a half inches, which is an A2 size card. And then to add a little bit more detail and dimension, I'm just adding a few aqua jewels. These are from Pretty Pink Posh, and these are the sea glass jewels. And I just like the added sparkle and shine they add to the card. So that is going to finish our Woohoo! It's Your Birthday card that was created with our new bundle of balloons card kit. I thank you so much for joining me in today's video and can't wait to see what you guys create with the new kit. Thanks so much for watching, and I'll see you next time.